It's Friday. TGIF. <laughs> Do you guys know where the kitty is? Do you guys know where the kitty is, boys? <laughs> Where's the kitty? Where's the kitty kitty? Where is he? No, he's not out there. I got a big fan out here because I steam cleaned the carpets last night. I figured since the couch and love seat were gone, I might as well steam clean the carpets. <clears throat> really good. So they're all dry. Um, carpet is supposed or carpet. <laughs> the couch and love seat are supposed to come um, between one and four today. So look at my kitchen. I haven't picked up the dog bowls yet. He wants his dog toys, so I got to get those. But I've got all my stuff from my living room here in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, do you guys see the kitty? Where's the kitty? Where's the kitty? Where's kitty kitty? Oh. <laughs> that kitty takes such abuse. He keeps hiding behind the curtain on him. And then if a dog goes up to him, he like swats at the curtain and scares him. <laughs> Kitty, are you hiding on the boys? <laughs> Kitty, are you hiding? Hmm? <laughs> so yeah, the boys do not like... And not having furniture to land. Let me tell you that. They do not like it. And when my, I didn't mention, um, when my love seat comes, the love seat, the two sections actually rock. They're rocking chairs. So, um, when I posted a picture of the boys trying to look out the window, um, yesterday, someone asked if they're going to be able to get on the furniture. Yes, they can get on the new furniture. But I'm wondering how it's going to work due to <clears throat> the love seat um, rocking, uh, them jumping up, and it's going to move. So we shall see. I don't know. Um, my husband is a rocker. He loves to rock. And he wanted something besides just the chair to rock in. That's why we got the rocking love seat. So, um, maybe when he's not home, I may have to push the love seat up against the wall so it can't rock. I don't know. And then I started thinking, do I want them up there? Maybe I don't want them up there anymore. But then I would feel bad because they can't look out the window. And I don't know what Magnum's... Magnum, <laughs> he wants his toys. He's out here crying. You want your toys? Aw, poor BB. Poor BB wants his toys. Let me get his toys. I'll be right back. There you go. There's your toys. There's your toys. <laughs> oh my goodness. The good thing about this is the boys have a lot of space to run around and play. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, there's your toys. Okay, so I'll be back when the furniture gets here. And we'll see how the love seat works out. Okay. While I'm waiting for the furniture to come, I thought I would show you what my husband and I did in the yard. As you guys know, I have this tr that trellis up because the neighbor's dog and the boys go nuts, that dog goes nuts, and I was trying to keep him away from the fence. Well, it wasn't working. <laughs> It was not working, and I think that's how Magnum broke his dew claw um, when he broke his dew claw a while back, putting his paws through these holes, trying to climb up to see that dog. So, we bought some of this fencing at the family farm and home, and we put it up so it's about, what is that, about three feet away from the fence? All the way the length that the um, neighbor dog's fence goes here because this starts a new neighbor's house over here. So, while it doesn't keep them from barking, which I knew it wouldn't, it keeps them away from being up close and personal with that dog and they don't 
bark so viciously, I guess. <laughs> Magnum would bark viciously like he was going to kill the other dog. <laughs> so now all they can do is just pace up and down this fence line and bark. They can't get up close and personal. They can't sniff each other through the cracks. They can't see each other as good. So like I said, they still bark, but it's not as bad. Thank goodness. Maybe later today if I'm outside and have the camera with me I'll, and that dog's home. They usually go away for the weekend. I think they go up north uh, to their cabin up north on the weekend. Well, I'm, not, I'm assuming it's a cabin up north because they're gone every weekend. So um, they usually leave on Fridays and are gone till Sunday. So um, we shall see if I can get some video tape. But yeah, I... Um, just the other day, I just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> and I told my husband, we are going to get something to keep them further away from that fence. I just can't stand it anymore. And that's why when we move next year, we will not be in a neighborhood like this where the houses butt up against each other and are in such um, close proximity. Um, we've got to have some distance. <laughs> with these five dogs especially this one this one is the typical schnauzer the typical schnauzer that barks at everything he just stands here and listens and sniffs in the wind for something to bark at let me tell you oh my goodness oh it's still wet the ground's still wet that three days of rain just oh miserable so i gave them baths yesterday because <laughs> Their feet basically being wet for three days, that can cause... Hey, Miggy, don't be so rough. You don't play so rough. Believe it or not, Miggy likes to play rough sometimes. Yes, he does. Well, you guys all saw they kind of play rough with the cat. <laughs> they never they never hurt the cat, but they can get a little rough because they get rough with each other and they think they can with the cat. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, their feet stay wet for almost three days because it was raining just like crazy. And so I had to give them a bath with that shampoo, that antifungal shampoo, because I don't want them getting any uh, yeast infections because then when their feet are wet constantly, they want to lick them and clean them. So if you live in a wet climate and you have schnauzers or any dog, make sure you're keeping an eye on for yeast infections. Um... <laughs> It's cold today, guys. It's really cold. Oh, I gotta turn these lights off, the lights I have on there. Um, so anyways, yes, I guess we'll continue and wait for the couches. What time is it? It is, what time is it? My phone is, it's almost 10. It's almost 10, so. Just gonna let the boys play outside. I gotta clean up my mess in the kitchen. Yesterday was a busy day. If you saw my Facebook post, I helped my son load up the um, couch and love seat into his girlfriend's truck. Um, then I cleaned the house, went and got groceries. What else did I do? I mowed the backyard. <laughs> I gave all the boys a bath. My daughter helped me. She gave them a blow dry because it's been cold out and I didn't want them wet when they went outside. So she blow dried them for me. And then I steam cleaned the carpets last night. So it was a busy day yesterday. Busy, busy day. So, and put up the, oh my, we went and got this fencing and put that up too. So it was a busy, crazy day. Yes, it was. So I think it's gonna be another busy one today. So we'll be back guys. <laughs> I'm gonna let these guys play a little bit here. All right, guys, the new furniture is here, and I think it is Schnauzer approved. Now, excuse my mess. I'm building a couple. I built a new coffee table, and now I'm building a couple new end tables because um, when I had all the furniture out of here, I moved my two en other end tables to the side of my stand under the um, TV. And I kind of liked it. It kind of, I mean, it's end tables on the side of a TV stand. I mean, it don't look perfect, but it kind of lengthened it. Because I hated how this was, it wasn't as wide as my big TV. 
So I kind of like that it lengthened it and I can put a couple little things. I put my wax warmer there and some little fall decor there. Um, so I got on the Meyer website and saw that they had the same coffee table I have in the end table. It's a combo pack on sale for uh, $47.99, so $50 with tax for two more end tables and a new coffee table because I don't know if I ever, I think I showed in the video how Magnum when he was a puppy chewed on a couple of my, uh, the legs to my other coffee table. So that is now down in the basement, um, in my son's room. So, and then I'm going to, the other two end tables, I'm going to put one back over this way where I had it and then one on this side of the couch. So there you go. Let me see. This room is so small. There's the new furniture. It's kind of, um, let's see if I can show you on this, uh, love seat since it's by the window. It was called, I believe, a charcoal brown. Um, so it matches my curtains, the dark color in the curtains really good. So I really like it. And here's what I was saying. The love seat, um, both sections rock. So it's away from the window and they also recline. So it's away from the window and none of them have tried to, um, get on the back of it yet because it moves. Um, they do, Magnum does stand up and he peeks out the window. So they can peek out the window, but I think I'm going to keep them from laying up here because they completely de destroyed the other love seat, digging on it and flattened it out, laying on it. So I think I'm going to keep them from doing that. If they want to, um, put their paws up here and look out, no problem. But if they try to jump on this and they lose their balance, they're going to fall. So I'm going to really have to keep an eye on them with this love seat because this thing is too heavy to be moving back and forth so yeah so we're gonna have to keep an eye on them but I really think they're enjoying the new uh furniture they were so happy to <laughs> the couch and love seat to lay on again because you know they're dogs they can't lay on the floor you know they have to have something to lay on <laughs> So anyway, so I've got to get to um, building those. Oh, and I wanted to show you what I got for my grooming room. It's not in my grooming room. It's out here in the kitchen. I got this black, I call it a stool. They called it a bar stool. But I got this on sale for, well, not on sale. It was on clearance for $50. And then I had that $25 off gift certificate because they forgot to give us the power cord. So I got this for $25 plus tax. So that is going to help me when I'm grooming the boys, I will have as certain things I'm doing. I can sit down now and don't have to stand there uh, for hours when I'm grooming them. So I'm really excited about that to use that the next time I groom them. Yes. What do you think, Miggy? You like it? You like it? So got that. Got the furniture. They delivered the um, dining room table that we bought for my husband's conference room they delivered that before they delivered this to us they took that to his office because his office is only a five minute drive from here so i'm really happy what do you guys think and do you guys think this looks too terrible with the end tables on the side of the uh it's, it's a tv stand you think that looks too terrible i don't think it does i think it looks all right because you know I'm not buying expensive um, coffee table and end tables till maybe we move to our next house. So maybe I'll get some adult end tables. I call them adult because they'll be more expensive <laughs> then, but I really like it, you guys. I'm so happy. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to finish doing what I'm doing, and then I'm going to show you the expenses for September because I've almost forgot again and our um, expense fund, and then I'm gonna end the video after that. So I'll be right back with that after I get these tables built. All right, guys, I just figured out our expenses and our emergency fund. So I'm not gonna repeat all these. I'm just gonna show you um, what we spent and um, let you know the reason why there's two Chewy.com orders. This one came at the beginning, like right at the beginning of the month, like the first or second. And then this one came the 30th, uh, right at the end of the month. So there was two. So I'll probably only have one towards the end of the month, towards the end of the month, uh, this month. And then the dog bed. That other big dog bed was just terrible. The, this, 
the cover you could take off the material so thin they were making a hole in it every day and I'm gonna tell you what this dog bed which if you guys have been watching my channel for a while when Magnum was little I had a Michigan State dog bed and they last forever so I may just have to stick with these beds <laughs> and then here's the other stuff we bought I just put other treats just grouped them all together um, and so here was our total for September and then our um, money we made for the month uh, a generous donation from Joe I want to thank you again I think I already thanked you in a video but I want to thank you again for the donation um, our patreon the ads that play on our YouTube and then our Amazon store this is what we made for the month of September and here's where we're at so thank you guys so 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 much Okay, I've got to, it's almost 7.30. I've got to take care of a boatload of dishes, unload the dishwasher. I finally got the, um, I got the um, end tables put together I was showing you I still had to work on, so there's one there. I gotta get something to put there because I moved my um, wax warmer over here by the front door got that one together and like I said the coffee table is new because the old one when Magnum was a puppy he would lay under there and gnaw at the legs of the coffee table <laughs> yeah so thank goodness they're cheap they're cheap tables like I said for the coffee table and the two end tables it was 50 bucks because they're basically that pressed board um so now that he's out of his puppy stage of chewing on things maybe when we move to our new home next year which please cross your fingers for us guys that in the spring we can start looking for our our um new home that we're purchasing we won't be renting anymore so please pray for us that that happens um maybe once we move i can get a what i call adult coffee table and adult and tables <laughs> Um, ones that'll cost more than 50 bucks. Um, so finally got those together, but let me tell you, my right arm is killing me from putting all the screws in on these tables. Oh my goodness. And you can't use a drill on pressed wood or you will crack it. So anyways, I got to go let the dogs in. Um, they're outside with my husband. I got to wipe their feet cause it was raining again today. Ugh. So let me go see if they're ready to come in. Let's go see. Let's turn the light on so we can see out there. Husband's fanning the bonfire. Are you guys ready to come in? Are you ready to come in? Yes? Okay, let me get a towel, wipe your feet. Bye guys. <laughs>